To start using your printer, you will need to run through the setup wizard to connect it with your iConnect. To run the setup wizard on the IBT500 printer, begin by turning your printer on. When the setup wizard message is shown on the screen, press the confirm button. Select setup wizard. Enter your printer ID. This is found in your iConnect. You can click this link to follow a tutorial on how to get your printer ID. Select GPRS. Enter your network APN details. If you are in the UK and we have supplied you with a SIM card, then you can copy the APN details I use. Otherwise, please contact your SIM card provider. You can also try a quick Google search for network APN details, replacing network with your network provider. Press the C button to delete the existing entry. Press the hashtag button to switch between the uppercase, lowercase and numerical input modes. The active input mode is shown in the top right corner. Enter a manager password to prevent unauthorised changes to the printer settings. Now wait while the printer is validated by our servers. Once you see the idle text, your printer is ready to go. Let's take a look at setting up the IBT6000 printer via Wi-Fi. To begin, hold the power button for 5 seconds. Once prompted, press the menu button, select setup wizard, enter your printer ID, again this can be found in your iConnect. You can click this link to follow a tutorial on how to get your printer ID. Select Wi-Fi, press the menu button and set the wireless LAN to on. Once you do this, you will see more options on the previous menu. Select Scan Wireless LAN and wait for the list of available networks you can connect to. Select your network and enter the password. Press the menu button once you have connected. Press the cancel button to exit out of the wireless LAN settings. Enter a manager password to prevent unauthorized changes to the printer settings. Now wait while the printer is validated by our servers. Once you see the idle text, your printer is ready to go. If you found this video helpful, then we have more like it available on our website and on YouTube. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get the latest news and tips for your printer.